you didn't even know what kind of team you had back in November, did you, when you played them earlier? No, no, and I, I just was saying, I don't know that I did um, the best job early. Try, I mean, we tried to figure out our group, but I don't know that I always did the best job um, early on as we were trying to, uh, trying to learn our team and learn our team's strengths and our personnel strengths. You know, we were searching a little bit there, and, and uh, I'm sure we could have done a better job there. But it, it just it, it takes time. It evolved, right? It, it, yeah, it takes time to, to learn each other's strengths and for them to, not only for them to trust us, but for us just to learn the best places to put your players in uh, on the floor. Uh, that takes more time than maybe uh, you'd expect, and it did. So a few more. Uh, Mark Few, how do you view him now? He's a guy you've consulted with a couple of times. Uh, he's, uh, I think he's an elite coach. He's run an elite, he's got an elite program. I mean, when you think of Gonzaga, you're thinking what right now, traditionally one of the top 10 programs in the country. Um, uh, I think he, I think he's one of the very best in the country. I really do. And uh, uh, they have an elite program. And it's, I think it's, it's hard to, to, you know, you can't say that about a ton of programs right now, but uh, going to the championship game and then coming back and having another outstanding season, and he's consistently in the NCAA tournament, he's consistently advancing. It's a great model for a lot of programs. He built it. Yeah, you know, and he did. I think Munson and those others that came before kind of set the groundwork, but um, he certainly, he and his staff have taken it to another level. Chris JT was saying that you guys don't even watch tape of the first meeting uh, just because both teams have changed so much. Is that true of the, is that true of the coaching staff? No, we'll team? watch. Yeah, we, we have. Uh, we watch, which was really pleasant a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> just really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, but yeah, I watched that last night, and uh, we'll watch it again, and we'll show our guys clips from, from, from some of those games. And did what you, do you sleep think when you see No. It? <laughs> what do you think when you see it? I mean, it was a mismatch. We were, we were, man, we, we, it wasn't close. We got drilled. You know, we were absolutely drilled, and we weren't ever, you know, outside of the first 15 minutes. You know, I feel bad. I just, I, we got to find a way to put ourselves in a better position. But it was, their length bothered us. Their size really bothered us. Their physicality bothered us. Um, you know, it was our, it was our worst loss of the season probably. I guess you could say that that in Penn State, but you know, neither game was, was very competitive. We, and obviously when you only have two of those a year, there's, you know, you're going to have a couple of those, but they, they got us good. And that was, it was a road game, but you know, if we were talking, if we were in Detroit right now, I wouldn't say it's going to be a road game, but it's going to be another road environment and um, we need to be ready for that. So how do you, how do you adjust to that? Because they still have the same length, they still have the same size. How do you adjust to that now? Well, we'll, we'll have to look at doing some things. Um, <laughs> offensively a little bit better and our personnel is a little bit different now than what it was then but um, you know we could um, we'll play more of a traditional lineup but we'll also play um, move some guys around you know you, you do have to make shots against these guys you know they're so good at protecting the rim it's not like you can just pound it inside on on them all night that's not it's not gonna happen you're gonna have to be able to have balance to your offense Kata, with Caleb, Kata had with, seven, I think Kata had seven points in that game. Kata, yeah, he just yeah. kind of got physical. Uh, physical maybe? Yeah, no, they're really their bigs are very physical. They're long at the rim. Their bigs are very physical. Their zone bothered us. Um, their length just across the board bothered us. Yeah, it bothered all of our guys. You know, um, you know, they just they beat us up. What can Caleb you do with them? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, they don't, you know. We'll, we'll play a more traditional lineup. That was, that's one game out of how many games sure. we played this year where, where that happened. He needs to, you know. I think he plays about 20 minutes a game. I would expect he to do that tomorrow. How far has Caleb come? I think that was his first start when you guys played Gonzaga the first time. Just how have you seen him develop from from that point to now? I think it's, you know, he's had some good moments and some freshman moments too. You know, I don't, I don't think it's a situation where, I think he's had some very good moments. I also think, as a freshman, as much as we played him, he's probably hit a little bit of a wall at times in the season, but. And I'm proud of his his development. I'm proud of his brother's development. I think they both have done some good things for us. It's going to be a very challenging matchup because they they cycle in a lot of bigs. I would expect him and Micah to both uh, play for us uh, on the interior tomorrow. And then with that obviously hurt not having Micah the first game because he was playing well the first couple of games of the season. Uh, not with him being healthy, how much can you look at him to make an impact? Well, I, I mean, Micah's got to do what he can do. It's it's not. Uh, 
Uh, we don't look at it as like, hey, this is this is necessarily a completely different game because Micah uh, is playing. Micah's got to be ready to go and, and play, uh, uh, give us what, what uh, he can do for us, which is, you know, when he's played well, he's given us a lift on the glass. He's given us a lift uh, inside. Um, and, you know, he's been able to make, make a shot. I thought even though he didn't play much yesterday, he came in and got a couple offensive rebounds. It was great. But, you know, I, you pull one guy out of the lineup usually, unless it's like, you know, your leading score, uh, people have done studies on that. It, it's not a huge mm -hmm. difference one way or the other. And you talked about the physicality that they brought and how that was maybe the first time you guys had seen a test like that at this point in the season. How much did that give you, or how much did you learn from Keita as the season went on, what, what he had to, to learn from that game? Because that, that was the first team to really effectively game plan for him and take him out, and then he's obviously adjusted to to that as the season went on. How did you see that shape maybe his season? You know, I think they they um, they beat him. You know, they they were physical with him. They tried to bump him off his spots. They tried to limit his catches. Uh, they tried to make plays on the rim with their size. I think he's adjusted to that better and better. Hopefully we can uh, put him in, in some spots uh, that, that, that help him more in this game. But listen, they, they're a great defensive team, a great defensive team. So if anyone out there listening thinks this is going to be like a, oh, now we're going to score really easy on them and, you know, be able to just throw it inside and, like, that's not happening against these guys. We're going to have to have balance. We're going to have to make some shots. We're going to have to score in transition and to get some offensive rebounds. But it's going to be a grinded game. They're, they're, they're an elite defensive team. Chris, how difficult was it in the second half last night to, to get Kata, like, in that mid-post area where, where he's probably at his most efficient. Well, it was only difficult. We got him there a couple times in transition. It, it was difficult at times for him to get those catches because they were playing eight feet off our passers, you know, and just daring all of our perimeter guys, minus Cam, to shoot the ball. Just daring them. Like, here, go ahead, shoot it. If you make it, we'll live with the result. Um, so they were tagging the post with another defender. It was hard to get some post feeds in there. How, uh, 